Good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 11th of November, back in the Reading Nook. Um, it's uh, another chilly day, damp, but what do you expect for November? And I've got another parcel. Um, no indication of who this is from, so I'm not quite sure what's in here. So, but I do know it comes via uh, uh, DPD, so it's probably someone in, in this country. So, let's get to it. Upside down, well done me. Let's try that way. Okay, so this is Those Dark Places by Jonathan Hicks. Industrial science fiction role playing. Okay, uh, space is a hell of a thing, but you need to be sure that this is what you want, like what you really want. The idea of space exploration to further the frontiers of mankind is noble, but let's not kid ourselves. It's really all about furthering the profit margins. There's money to be made out there, made, and out there is a place to make it. But you hear all kinds of stories, equipment malfunctions, strange discoveries, crew members going insane. You'll be out there in the reaches, alone for months or years, breathing recycled air and drinking recycled water, with nothing but a few feet of metal and shielding between you and certain death. Are you, are you sure this is what you want? Career orientation briefing. Okay. Those Dark Places is a rules light, story focused role playing game about the darker side of space exploration. Uh, to, and the people who travel the stars in claustrophobic, dangerous conditions. Starships, stations and outposts aren't havens of safety uh, with clean, brightly lit corridors of their potential death traps. Funded by budget conscious corporate interests and running on stale, recycled air and water. The stars may be the future of humanity, but they also home to horrors and terror the human mind cannot comprehend. Okay, so this is published by Osprey Games. Um, it's their third role-playing game after um, Paleomythic and Romance of the Middle Kingdoms, okay. I have reviewed um, uh, Paleomythic and I do like it quite a lot. This though is obviously a science fiction game, it's doing basically, um, it, it says industrial science fiction role playing or blue collar um, role playing, so um, what you're thinking of are, well movies like um, Alien, um, Aliens, and also um, Outland, um, but, uh, which is essentially Sean Connery, which is essentially um, uh, High Noon in Space. Um, and it's a, it's a, it, this is really a, this is a, it, this is a genre that is uh, sort of slightly popular, I suppose, with the release of things like uh, Mothership. Um, from Tuesday Night Games and of course Free League Publishing's um, Alien the Role Playing Game um, and this covers some of the same genres so let's just have a look through so it's uh, well here's the first reference on the first page so you know what that it's, it's talking about that it's re referring to there um, but um, this and it says uh, you know uh, on Sunday the 11th of July 1982, when I was very young, I sneakily watched a movie that would change the way I looked at science fiction cinema. The movie was Ridley Scott's Alien. Um, so that's the obvious inspiration. So the layout is clean, you, you, basically you've got prior pods, um, the artwork um, decent, um, you know, um, to, and it's basically working clothes. Um, people wearing um, but, uh, oh God. and you know the thing is is, is, is in this it's uh, the general action is for, like, it's hiding not fighting um, because you're not equipped to fight you, you or generally you're not trained to fight um, you know unless you're really under pressure like that um, so I've been looking for I've been, uh, I've been looking forward to seeing this um, Spaceship. So the artwork has got a slight, I would say, a slightly cartoonish look. Um, you know, um, and we've been again. The idea that these are not sleek, fast spaceships. You know, they're they're they're, they're heavy, blocky workmen like them. That's essentially a tug there. Um, but, uh, yeah. 
Um, and th again, you've got sort of like a, a certainly robustness style to it, you know. It's not sleek, there's no touch screens as such, you know. There is definitely um, keyboards and stuff, you know, which will clash as you work them. Because um, obviously they're easier to repair um, to um, corporate interests, of course. So, um, I've got, and I've basically got, um, let's have a look, uh, essentially, um, example of play, um, I will dig into this um, with a proper review soon, um, but it's going to be interesting to read another uh, role playing game from, um, from Osprey Games. Um, who are better known for sort of like their war games and their military, um, military source books, um, which are very nicely illustrated. Um, and there's a scenario at the back called uh, the Argent Three, Argent Three Report. Um, but, uh, so you get everything you need to play. Um, and, uh, Essentially, that's the crew sheet, the back character sheet, um, and, and um, you know, basically, uh, instead of um, skills, what you've got is crew positions. Um, so, obviously, this doesn't do um, military um, games like which you would call for with Alien. It's it, it aliens. It's very much more um, alien. Um, than aliens in tone, uh, just looking through that. So that's a quite a nice little hardback. Um, that is um, Those Dark Places, um, available for, I would say, basically from your um, nearest um, fine purveyor of um, good role playing books. Um, and I will be back with another unboxing um, in the near future. Thanks for watching and goodbye.